We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Apparently, Nick Raybar is a stickler for time. He said yeah, we're late. 9.14. We're late to we our first We have a lot to do segment. here this morning, and this is not something that we can really rush. No. So, like, not. we should have been here at 9.06, everybody, just saying. Okay. But we're going to get through it. All right. So, what do we need? We're making mash root <laughs> veggies au gratin. Ooh, All right, so it's like three things in one. Okay. All right, because Potatoes whether you want to believe it or not, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I know. We were just talking about that. And it's, it's weird because I only have like one more, well, maybe two more Wednesdays to share a recipe or two. That's true. But now is when you need to start thinking. So, like, yeah, here's my out. thought process for today. Root vegetables are Love very it. common on the table. Mm -hmm. Mashed potatoes are very common on the table. Yeah, and mashed some, butter and squash, things right, like that. Yeah. Right, and a cheesy element, like uh, like a potato or gratin or something, yeah. is very common. So we're going to take those three things and we're going to put them together today. Okay. Uh, for today, I'm using celery root, potato, butternut squash, and carrots, but you can use rutabaga. Mm -hmm. You can use... Uh, turnip? Turnip. You took the words right out mm -hmm. of my mouth. You can use all sorts. You can do sweet potato. Mm -hmm. You can do all sorts of your favorite root vegetables, throw them together, put them in some lightly salted water, bring them to a boil, mm -hmm. let them cook, and then strain them well. Get rid of right. all of the liquid because yes. sometimes some root vegetables have a like turnip, for example, has a lot of liquid in it. Really? Mm -hmm. So you don't want it to be like thin. Yeah. So, and you want to add a little potato to whatever you do because you want that starch. You're going to okay. mash them down, put them in a casserole dish. Pop a little bit of cheese on top. Mm. For today, I'm using Gruyere and Fontina. Those are two cheeses I commonly use. They melt well. Good melt. And they have super cheese, like Ooh. super strength. Uh, string flavor. Uh, do they have stringability? Stringability. Well, I, you know, and that's so funny because what do I always <laughs> say? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe, I don't think it's stringability, but it'll come back to me. Like the pull? The pull, yeah. the cheese pull. And okay. it will have that. Right. But we'll also have that nice brown if we ever get to it, everybody. I mean, hello, well, we're running a few minutes. Before, but that's got to be. Wrap brown. it up, Nick. Wrap it up. <laughs> We gotta get cooking. Back to whoever. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's a human stopwatch timing the show. Listen, Nick, take it easy, buddy. All right. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Nick Raybar is standing by the oven, mm -hmm. waiting for the cheese to melt. Yes. Uh, Avenue Wen's restaurant, mashed root veggies, au gratin, is on the menu. It's a nerve How are we looking? I think we're gonna get there. Okay. This was a nail biter. It was. Only because. Down to the wire. These, these two steps. Excuse me, I'm very distracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two steps take time. I think it you looks have good. To, it, well, it does look good. It does look good. And I'm very impressed. Do you want to review what you did? Do yes, you buy I yourself do. a little more time? Yes, I do. Because this needs like just 45 more seconds. Okay. So when you mash root vegetables or you mash potatoes, they take time to boil. Right. There's nothing you can do about sure. that. Sure. They have to be at the point where they still have a little bit of starch and a little bit of bite because you it. want this to be, you know, have a little texture to mm -hmm. it. You know, you don't want like liquid root vegetables. Right. You want it to taste a little yeah, like yeah. root vegetables. Yeah. And then, uh, but you know, the starch has to release for the potatoes. It all has to work well in order to mash correctly. Then, I took butter and cream, mm -hmm. very standard stuff. There's no clove, there's no nutmeg, there's none of that stuff. Got it. I'm all for that stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I'm keeping it out. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna peek real quick. Well, all right, we're in good shape. Okay. I well, can come back over here. <laughs> back over here with my old buddy, he, he, Will Gilbert. He was, he was very worried. That I this, was that worried. This dish was not gonna come I was again. worried, right. but that takes time. Yes. Then it has to turn au gratin. So remember, we're doing mashed root vegetable au gratin. So right. like three side dishes in one. Got it. Because mashed potatoes are very common. This is all good. Mashed potatoes are very common. Roasted root vegetables are very common. And usually a cheesy thing, like a broccoli casserole where you'd have melted right. cheese or something so, on top. So tell everybody what you, what you put in this initially. Uh, so I did celery root, Got potato. It. Okay. Because I think the potato is very important to mash the root vegetables to make them creamy and starchy like that. Yep. Uh, I did celery root and I did parsnip. Okay, you can do carrot, you can do rutabaga, you can do turnip, you can do any of your favorite root vegetables. Mm -hmm. Then uh, once that came to a boil, I mashed it down with a little bit of buttercream, pinch of salt. Got it. One thing that's really important is to really make sure you salt your water. Like, double the salt that you could probably think. And like, don't put a whole box in there. Yeah. But you want these, you know, that salt will elevate the natural flavors of the root vegetables and it's going to make them that much better. Okay. Then, I put a grab a spoon, you, well, well, no, yeah. I was just going to say, try that. Didn't, hang on, I just want to bring this try up. Try that. You, you also left a little chunk Well, too, that's right? all part of it. Yeah. Because this is a very soft me, dish. There you go. This yeah. is a very soft dish. I ate it all. No, no he sort of did. Yeah. Now, get that disaster out of here okay. and let's put this right, beauty move, hang on, I'm move front, this out of the way. front and center. Got well. it. Front and center. Tell. Okay. Because there it is. Come on. And somehow this worked out. Whoa. Somehow this worked out. So now, 
No tricks today, as you know, because you were here during my stress when I was mashing the root vegetables. There was no tricks. These ingredients came in here raw, and this came out in, well, this was a record today, because 9.14 start time, I don't approve of that. He was a little shaky. I didn't get that memo. No one told me we were doing that. So okay. those, you know, those critical minutes, you know, to make this were very stressful for me, Will, but right. I feel better now. Yes. And uh, so I put Gruyere and Fontina. I love those cheese. Right. They melt and they brown really, really well. So, you know, some cheese just melts. Like if you put, you can't do like fresh mozzarella. It just melts too much. Got it. You know, like if Parmesan doesn't melt. So like now maybe you sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of fresh thyme, Will, because, you know, we always talk about herbs and like Ooh. root vegetables, thyme, cheese, potato, au gratin, yada, yada, yada. This is... That's a nice, that's a nice that's looking it. dish right there. That is a nice is looking dish. Is that not dip. a nice looking dish? Thank you, buddy. Good thank you. you. Thank thanks you for coming Gilbert. in. And it was, thanks, it was everyone. A close one down to the wire today with our mashed root veggies au gratin. Uh, if you'd like the recipe for this, head on over to our website, roadshow.com.